Each August, the most discerning collectors of the world meet in Monterey to celebrate the classic car hobby, with the RM Auction Monterey sale being the pinnacle of the weekend and a wonderful tradition. RM Auctions raised the bar with an amazing offering and presentation attracting global interest from the media and collectors alike. BID has represented over 25 countries spanning from North America to South America, the Middle East and Europe, with lively bidding being spurred on throughout the weekend and many world records being set. The auction this weekend was absolutely fantastic. There was great energy in the room and we had really spirited bidding, not only in the room, but also from overseas on the telephones and commission bids and internet bidding all at the same time, giving some great results. So, you're a car, well done. Congratulations. We have the finest selection of cars here in Monterey this weekend than we've ever had in the event's history. Of the 120 cars that we offered, no less than 20 of them surpassed the million dollar mark. So, the four million seven hundred thousand. Thank you. Our Monterey event every year consistently draws the finest sporting cars, and we're always seeing records broken that have stood for a very long time, and they're now reaching well into the seven-figure range. The Bentley R-Type Continental was the fastest sporting car of its kind when it was built, and the example we had on Alpha had spats, lightweight buckets floor shift, and really ticked all the boxes for the new owner who couldn't live without it and paid over $1.6 million for it. We broke many, many world records uh, over the past couple of days, showing that quality cars are really selling well. And we strive to find the best cars in the world to present here at auction to our clients. And the results show it. Testarossa made almost a quarter of a million dollars, and Adino Chairs and Flares, another world record that we broke, achieving almost $500,000. Over the weekend, we sold the uh, Ferrari California Spider, the covered headlamp, short wheelbase version, at over $8.5 million. The 250 GT long wheelbase Tour de France Ferrari is arguably one of the greatest dual purpose race cars ever built, and this 14 louver example sold for over $6.7 million. Before they entered series production, Ferraris were one off cars built for his discerning clients to fund the racing programs. The 410S we offered this weekend was one such bespoke example built for Michel Paul Cavalier, basically a racing car, a supercar for the road and the only closed example of the four built. It sold this weekend for $8.25 million, which is a record for all closed Ferraris offered at auction. One of the most thrilling moments of the weekend was the sale of the Golf Mirage GT40, selling for $11 million, making it the most expensive American car ever sold at auction. It's a fabulous car with tremendous history. Uh, Jackie X raced the car early in its history with that famous golf livery before it was used by Steve McQueen's Solar Productions in the filming of the movie Le Mans. So from start to finish, it's had an an, a tremendous life. It's a lightweight example, one of only two that exist. And it had an incredible bidding war that took place in the audience between two people that really had to have it. 50 and 3, 9.3 and 50, 9.4 and 50, 9.5. And 50. 9.6. How's that? Right. The third, and the very last time, ladies and gentlemen, for the Ford GT40 Golf Mirage car at $10 million. Are we all done? All finished. So! Over the two days, the sale totaled almost $100 million, which is an all-time high for RM. That is the best result we've ever had here in Monterey.